people uh, kind of tend to use rye and triticale interchangeably, uh, but there is a real difference. Uh, you can see the rye has a much earlier maturity. Uh, of course, this is spring triticale compared to, uh, compared to rye, but rye tends to head out fairly early. Uh, it is more winter hardy and more winter active than what your triticales are. If you're looking for winter grazing, Strict winter grazing. Oh, thank here's you. Here's what the winter trip would look like. So yeah, so here's taller than the spring, but shorter than the yeah. than the rye. Uh, the rye tends to get very leggy. Uh, it comes on earlier, uh, so you can graze it earlier, but it also loses its quality much earlier. Um, if you're looking for grazing on into in this area, on into May, uh, rye just loses quality very quickly. If you're looking to graze in February rye is going to be much superior. Um, rye uh, has some values uh, that we really like and one of them is weed suppression and rye is an allelopathic plant contains compounds that uh, reduce the the growth of other plants uh, a lot of weeds mare's tail is one of them um, palmer amaranth and other pigweed species is another one uh, but the, the winter activity of rye makes it very popular. Um, as, as a grazing plant, it's great in the winter, not so good in later spring. Um, as far as fine, if you measure the yield on April 1st, the rye is going to really beat the triticale. If you measure it on May 15th, tri triticale is probably going to yeah. outdo the rye. Yeah, and you know, and it's amazing how fast this rye caught up because when we came out here April 1st, Normally this rye would be, you know, knee high and really going, you know, it was maybe four inches tall because of the cold late spring that we had. But in spite of that, look at how much it's caught up. I mean, this stuff's five feet tall now. And, you know, normally, you know, rye will normally get, you know, between four and a half and six feet tall. And uh, so it's really caught up fast. Uh, can be good grazing, like Dale said, but you got to get on it early. We, I kind of jokingly tell people, if you're going to graze rye, you need about a thousand head of cattle for a month and then you need to find somewhere else to go with them because you got to stay on it and keep it vegetative because once it heads out cattle aren't going to eat it very well yeah and some people will mix rye with other cereal grains to extend that quality period or mix rye and annual rye grass to extend that quality of grazing or do a sequential deal and that's one reason we're so excited about the willow creek is it gives you an option to go to after rye or triticale Oh, yeah, because yeah, you could be grazing this rye in February and March, you could be grazing triticale in April and the first part of May, and you could hit that Willow Creek from the middle of May in through June. Yeah, have a nice, nice program.